A walk to school is prompting fear among the parents of some Loudoun County high schoolers. The parents say the lack of a crosswalk at the school puts kids at risk. A look at Stonebridge High School in Ashburn shows it is cornered by two busy roads. ABC 7's Chris Van Cleve shows us how children are getting across them. What high school senior Hamad Yosef is doing right now my heart just drops. Terrifies Michelle Hawkins. She and her family snapped these pictures yesterday of kids playing a real life game of Frogger, darting into traffic to cross Hay Road and enter Stonebridge High School in Ashburn. It's just a matter of time before somebody gets injured or worse. An issue made worse, some parents say, because the school district now requires any of the 1900 students who go here and live within a mile to walk. The school board is not listening and they need to do something about the traffic and the lack of crosswalks. This morning, the sheriff's office was out in front of the school doing speed enforcement. By afternoon, school staff were reminding kids to stay on the sidewalk, but our cameras saw several students cutting through traffic to cross. It's pretty unsafe because there's a lot of cars coming from that direction and leaving the school too, but I think it's unsafe too. Yeah. Why do you do it if it's unsafe? Because it's the quickest way to get home. From the main entrance of the school, the nearest crosswalk is about 550 feet. That's an extra two minutes of walking or so that many high school students just aren't going to do. They're going to take the straight line approach. And the school district says what's complicated here is crossing outside of a crosswalk to enter a school isn't jaywalking in Virginia, so the police can't make them stop. The district says it's aware of parents' concerns and this summer completed an engineering study for VDOT to review. And so we've been talking with them about painting a crosswalk across the street to help guide the, the students to cross in a single place. Approval could come in the next few weeks, but Hawkins says she'll be driving her daughter to school. Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News.